Uh, Jose, Ho Jose Manuel Cervantes, uh, probably, we're probably related as cousins, um, uh, was invited by the Gale Brewer's office to come and participate and uh, work in a track that uh, Nathan and I uh, had pr have prototyped uh, at Savvy. Wow, this is a crazy story. All right. Um, so Nathan and I teach at Pratt Savvy, which is a GIS certificate program, and I have to give uh, mad props to Jesse Braden and Ben Wellington for putting up that certificate program because it's gotten a number of us in this community to be really be thinking about education and curriculum um, and how do we train the next generation of open data leaders. You've heard that a lot today from Gail. Well, here is one of our new victims. Um, so Jose uh, has a little story to tell you about the things that he learned today playing around with New York City open data. All right. So, um, well, today, um, well, with my, my first day of like, you know, being exposed to like open data and like, well, it was one thing I didn't know till today and like, I really see the impact it can have and I'm glad that I had exposure to like all these sort of tools and to actually like information that like I can see, you know, what goes on in my city and you know, I think that's a really good thing that four years ago was accomplished and you know, I think um, it got me interested now and so. You know, that was pretty fun. And so, like, so this is, like, a little picture of, like, spreadsheet. So, like, on the New York City Open Data website, um, it showed, like, we, we narrowed it down to, like, the 311 calls and to see, like, you know, what sort of things they get. And I narrowed it down to, like, complaint calls and specific noise complaint calls and to the date of January 1st and January 2nd, New Year's Eve. And so, you know, I was like, well, what, what complaint calls could have happened in New Year's Eve? And so there was like 154 like results that popped up in the matter of like 24 hours. And so this is the um, map I created, and it it has like all these like little sectors around it. And so like that's what 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 it was from like loud television to loud talking to banging and pounding and car truck music, so that happens in New York apparently. And, and it was something that I guess was good to see around the city, because you know, you can sort of see that well in like lower Manhattan, like it was really like pretty, pe people were I guess complaining a lot, I guess, because it's like Times Square, you know, people like to party down there like in the bars, restaurants, all that. And it's a nice way I guess to show information to people because originally on the spreadsheet, like I didn't know what that was. And so like you have to scroll down to each little tab and read, you know, to see. But this is like a whole different way that that I feel like people, you know, whether it's in school, whether it's outside of school, should see. Because I know it was brought up back earlier that, you know, information is out there, but how can people understand it? And this is one way that people can understand it. And it, I think it should start in schools. Like, it should, it should definitely be implemented in, like, you know, I guess all schools in New York City, because it got me interested in it. And, like, maybe other students in New York City can get interested. So, thank you very much for having me.